Hey, this is Marshall Zhukov, and here we are together again on YouTube, and look what I've got. I've got a sheath for my K-Bar. Too bad it's not mine. My buddy's got one. He bought this thing a long time ago um, when he bought his at a surplus store years ago. It was probably more than 10 years ago he's had that sucker. Um, it's my knife, but it's his sheath. I asked him if I could borrow it. I'm going to uh, make my own. I've got my pattern going here. I'll get it all cut out and uh, get it glued together anyways and go from there. I'm going to just try to make it the same. I'm, I am going to have to get some longer rivets. We've got uh, five different thicknesses here of leather so I don't have any rivets long enough to do that but uh, these shorter ones down here I'll just stick them in there and I'll just kind of make it look the same. Obviously, it's not going to be uh, an original, so I'm sure it'll serve the purpose just fine. So as soon as I get some stuff cut out, I'll update the project a little bit and uh, go from there. All right, we're coming along here with this. Uh, I've got my welts cut out right here. Now, I don't think uh, you can see how the welts on this are tapered, and the welts are actually what is in between it's kind of acts like a spacer um, you can see how the knife sits like if it's on this flat surface right here how the blade is raised so that's what these welts are for so there's a larger opening in here for the knife to slide into easily or else it would uh, and it's done it a little bit here you can see over time how it's pushed it out just a little bit but I've got uh, two more to cut then I'm gonna glue it all together and let it sit for a while get it all dried up and uh, just use a bunch of clothespins and stuff to to hold it there I like using the glue as well as stitching it just double reinforces it I mean it's hard to pull that glue apart when you get it on here with uh, I've used contact cement and this stuff called shoe glue shoe goo whatever it is works really well but uh, as soon as I get stuff uh, going here, and we'll uh, turn the camera back on. All right, I got my uh, sheath outside now, uh, drying. I got her all glued up. I put just a little dab of glue in here just to help kind of hold it on there a little better with one rivet. But uh, it's all stuck together. Oh, I guess I don't need those clothespins there anymore. That was just to hold it uh, in that shape so it would stay you can kind of see down in there the five different uh, layers and I took the welts out to the sander just kind of tapered them a little bit kind of like the original style of the sheath and uh, the one thing I noticed though with that other one it's older and this uh, little strap here that holds the knife in I cut it to the same length but that one I think is just a little stretched out and uh, it was also behind here so it was bending the sheath like that I think just over age it got stretched out a little and just was a little loose so that's why somebody put it around the back side but I think these sheaths are designed for it to be just like this on the inside and it just goes right around the knife and snaps in place so I might shorten this a little bit but uh, it's just something there to be able to flip open a little easier so but it's coming along pretty good made pretty good time on it I'm gonna let it uh, dry for a while and and then see uh, see about picking it up later but uh, yep she's coming along real nice I think I've got some brown shoe polish somewhere I'll just hit that with some liquid brown polish or whatever and it should turn out pretty good so for now Marshall Zhukov uh, signing out all right, the uh, K-Bar sheath is coming along. I've got the clothespins off it. All the uh, shoe goo is all dried up on there. Got a little bit poking out the edge there. That's no problem. That'll come off when I take it to the uh, sanding wheel. It's kind of tidied up a little bit. Get a little burnish on the uh, edges. So that's yet to come. But it fits in there pretty good. It's definitely not as... Uh, Worn in is the old one here. It just slides right in. 
but uh, so far so good everything uh, is pretty close to a replica just gotta add the uh, stitching and the rivets and then uh, that'll be that so I'll be back with another uh, little update here in a little bit well there she is all uh, put together got the rivets in there got it all stitched up and uh, got a little bit of uh, brown shoe polish on there stay in the leather just a little bit doesn't look too bad I think a few more coats will be pretty good but uh, the blade sits right in here uh, real nice just like the uh, the original one so just a couple little nuances but uh, it looks pretty good I think I'll still put a hole right in there just like the one here and uh, that's that's about it. So the uh, K-bar sheath is done. Oh, I'm not sure how many hours I actually have into it. I'd have to think about it. But uh, it took me roughly 40-45 minutes or so to get all these holes punched in and uh, stitched up. So I'd punch maybe 10 or 12 and then stitch it and punch 10 or 12 more and stitch it. Um, it's more difficult when you've got all these layers to go through you gotta push the little all through there pretty hard and uh, it is a slightly more time consuming because when I was putting the holes in from the top because I used my little tool to uh, give me a little channel that the threads gonna go in <clears throat> that's how you get your straight lines um, when you punch from the top you can't see the back so I punch it through just a little bit make sure it's in the channel in the back and it doesn't get off uh, too far out of the channel so it will wander out but uh, it turned out pretty good I'm uh, I'm happy with it it looks good a couple more coats of that brown shoe polish I think will be alright and uh, yeah it's definitely ready to go carry out anywhere and do whatever so for now, Marshall Zhukov signing out on the uh, K-Bar Sheath Project.